Hello students, good morning to you all. So today I am here again with another topic that is physical properties of ammonia. In the last class we discussed regarding the laboratory preparation of ammonia. I hope you understood the about laboratory preparation, how ammonia is prepared in a laboratory and uh, we, dis we discussed now we will discuss about physical properties of ammonia. So number one physical property is it is colorless gas with a strong pungent smell. So it has no color. It is colorless and what kind of smell it has? It has very pungent smell. So pungent smell means the smell which comes from the rotten part. smell lies a Pungent smell. Number two it is lighter than air. It's lighter than air. And that's why it is collected. How ammonia is collected? By downward displacement of air. Means air is a key down parsa, and ammonia is a kazanza, mathilan. That means it is collected by downward displacement of air. Air is a downward displacement. That's why ammonia is lighter than air. Number three, the gas can be easily liquefied. Your gas, the ammonia gas, I mean, is a liquid panels of the body. Ammonia gas, I mean, liquid panels of two. I mean, a pressure apply. I mean, pressure, sir. I mean, what the temperature? I mean, what the low temperature? I mean, the cold temperature? I mean, pressure apply. What I mean, say, you ammonia gas, I mean, what panels of two? I mean, liquid. Okay. Now, number four, it is highly soluble in water. So, if we put ammonia, it will not. I mean, it will not float, but it will highly, it will become highly soluble in water. So, highly concentrated solution of ammonia is called liquid ammonia. So, highly concentrated means when we have enough ammonia in the water. So, that is called highly concentrated, and that highly concentrated solution of ammonia is called liquid ammonia. You we'll call it liquid ammonia. That is called highly concentrated solution. So, so, uh, highly concentrated and highly concentrated ammonia is called liquid ammonia. Number five, evaporation of liquid ammonia is associated with absorption of heat. And when we evaporate ammonia, when I start uh, changing it into it uh, means when I uh, when I start eating ammonia that means when ammonia is heated then it absorbs heat just say for example my lay ammonia let's say my lay kunai jagarak there my lay kunai jagarak and say elegi garsa surrounding way it say absorb garsa le ani so the surrounding heat absorbed by the surrounding 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 so sometimes you may be asked question so what is the use of ammonia so you can write it is used as a good refrigerant this is number one use this okay so these are the physical properties i hope you understood now chemical properties we will discuss about the chemical properties of ammonia okay Chemical properties. Chemical property. What means chemical properties means the ability to react with other substance. Now let's see ammonia can react with which substance. Okay. Now let's see number one. Number one, it has basic properties. It has basic properties.
basic properties. As we know, ammonia is a basic substance. We discussed in the last class only about ammonia. So ammonia is basic. Why we call it basic? We call it basic when we have OH and O. When we have OH and O. But ammonia does not have OH. And it does it also does not have O. But why we call it base? Because it it has lone pair. It's okay, sorry. Lone pair. Your lone pair is basic. With which of uh, of which theory? Because Lewis theory. Because Lewis told that any M compound who has lone pair, who can donate lone pair, they have. They are basic in nature. But RNA told any substance which produces OH, they are basic in nature. But here we don't have OH, but it has lone pair. So that's why it is true according to Lewis theory. So ammonia is the basic properties, and we already know acid uh, plus base gives salt and water. Acid plus base gives salt and Water. Now, ammonia is a base. 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 Ammonia is a Ammonia is a base. It is reacting with now acid. Let's say HCl. Hydrochloric. Acid. So HCl hydrochloric acid is reacting with ammonia base. So acid plus base gives salt and water. But it is not necessary acid plus base always gives salt and water. Sometimes acid plus base gives only salt. Okay. Now HCl plus ammonia. Acid plus base gives now salt. So what salt it gives? NH4. So this is ammonium chloride. You keep up ammonium chloride. So ammonium chloride is salt. So number one property it has basic properties. So acid plus base gives salt. Okay, so this is number one properties. Now let's go to number two. Now next thing, one thing I will tell you. Now ammonia is gas. HCl might be sometimes gas because HCl is hydrochloric acid and HCl also means hydrogen chloride gas. So as ammonia is gas, HCl is also gas, hydrochloric, uh, so hydrogen chloride gas. So this is also an example of so gas and gas gives solid. So this is also an example of gas and gas which is giving solid. So sometimes you will be asked question, sometimes you will be asked question that give an example of a compound which is a mixture of two gas. Name a give example of solid which is made of two gas. So this example ammonium chloride because it is this is solid, ammonium chloride is solid and these two are gas. Okay. Like uh, when you have HCl when you have hydrogen chloride gas when you release hydrogen chloride gas uh, when you dip one rod in HCl and when you take out and put near ammonia then you will see a white fumes you will see a white fumes okay so this is basic properties of ammonia now number two what is another chemical property that is reducing properties Reducing property when it is reducing property when it is reducing when it is reduce gone. Okay, reducing when it is reduction when reducing when it is removal of oxygen addition of hydrogen. Removal of oxygen addition of hydrogen. Okay, so ammonia is 
a mild reducing agent. Ammonia is a key. Ammonia, what kind of properties? It has reducing properties. It is a key. Was a reduced person. Maniko, oxygen is not on a camera. Or you can say hydrogen light, but hydrogen is a add on a camera. Oxygen is not on a hydrogen light. Add on a Okay, like this example I can give you. Suppose I have copper oxide. Suppose I have copper oxide. It's a metallic oxide. Okay, copper is metal. Copper oxide plus, let's say, ammonia. Ammonia like a ammonia like a ammonia like a ammonia reduce gonna come also. Ammonia like a oxygen or also in a name removal of oxygen means reduction of ammonia has that properties reducing properties. So ammonia will remove the oxygen. Okay, now what we get? So if I remove oxygen, what I get now? Cu plus H2O plus Kibayo nitrogen. Okay, so ammonia has what kind of properties? Reducing properties because it has reduced oxygen and it has now Cu is Br. Okay, that means it has removed oxygen and it became Cu. Okay, so next example I can give you lead oxide. Lead plus I mean, oxygen so oxygen so you oxygen like you are automatic camera selling. I want to get on the other. You do plus H2O plus N2. Okay. And the hundred year like balance of the kilo of the three, three, two, three, three. You can balance by yourself also. Okay, this one you can balance by yourself. Okay, so second property we discuss ammonia is the good reducing agent. Okay, and number three. Now, catalytic oxidation of ammonia. So, when ammonia reacts with oxygen, okay, when ammonia reacts with oxygen, then what it is produced? Okay, then what it is produced? As you know, ammonia is not a supporter of combustion. Okay, I mean, ammonia does not burn in air. Ammonia does not burn in air and it does not support combustion. Means it does not support combustion and ammonia does, ammonia is uh, ammonia does not burn in ear 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 means burn but it burns in oxygen you see me burn means oxygen ma burn okay so you can remember ammonia burns in oxygen. Ammonia burns in oxygen. Now, ammonia, when how we can write in reactions? Ammonia, when it burns in oxygen, okay. So, what does it produce? It produces water and nitrogen. It produces water and nitrogen, okay. And what is the okay? And what color it burns? Sometimes you may, you may be asked question. What color it burns? Okay, so it burns with greenish yellow flame. So it burns with
it burns with greenish yellow flame okay so ammonia burns in oxygen with which color greenish yellow flame it produces water and nitrogen it produces water and nitrogen okay and you can balance this equation also okay now ammonia reacts with oxygen to produce water and nitrogen but if ammonia ammonia burns in oxygen in presence of catalyst that's why i have written here catalytic oxidation catalytic oxidation okay but if ammonia reacts with oxygen ammonia oxygen sanga chai catalyst ko presence ma react gare huncha ke form huncha it does not form nitrogen okay now i am writing when it reacts uh, when ammonia reacts with oxygen in presence of catalyst okay this ammonia reacts with oxygen in presence of catalyst in presence of catalyst temperature is 700 750 to 900 degrees celsius okay 700 to 950 degree celsius 700 to 950 degree celsius when ammonia reacts with oxygen in presence of which catalyst platinum catalyst then it produces what it produces nitrogen nitrous oxide it produces nitrous oxide okay it's two plus NH. So previously, when nitrogen reacts with oxygen without catalyst, it produced it was producing only nitrogen. But when ammonia reacts with oxygen in presence of catalyst, it is producing nitrous oxide. Okay, okay. What is temperature? How much? Seven hundred to nine fifty degree Celsius. Okay. Now when you balance, how will you balance here? You can balance, you can write here 4 and it's 3, 3 O2. Okay, so 6 S2O and 4 N. So, in this, you can balance, you can look at your text also, you can balance. Okay, so this is number 3 catalytic oxidation of N. Okay, and number 4. Number four is reaction of ammonia with aqueous solution of metal ions. Now, when ammonia reacts with aqueous solution of metal ions, aqueous when it, with, when it is dissolved in water, when it is present with water. Okay, now ammonia is reacting with. Okay, so ammonia is, um, uh, reaction of ammonia with aqueous solution, and it's here. ammonia is also in which solution now aqueous solution ammonia say water is mixed back somehow. when ammonia is mixed with water then what we form ammonia mixed with water we form ammonium hydroxide we form NH4 OH NH3OH This ammonium hydroxide. Okay, when we react ammonia with water, it forms ammonium hydroxide. Okay. Now, when ammonium hydroxide react with metal salts, when ammonium hydroxide react with more metal salts, ammonium hydroxide react with metal salts. Metal, juncically down the metal just like iron. Iron okay on the formula Fe. And the salt can be chloride, so salt and can be chloride. So if we Cl3, when ammonium hydroxide react with iron, 
क्लोराइड और फिर क्लोराइड दैट इज मेटल सॉल्ट ओके जुन पनि मेटल लिदा हुन्छ हामी एम एल्युमिनियम पनि लिदा हुन्छ ओके अनि क्लोराइड भनेको अनि सॉल्ट भनेको चाहिँ क्लोराइड क्लोराइड जे पनि लिदा हुन्छ ओके सो एमोनियम हाइड्रोक्साइड टु रिएक्ट विथ मेटल सॉल्ट एंड व्हाट हैपेंस वी फॉर्म मेटलिक हाइड्रोक्साइड हामीले मेटल को चाहिँ हाइड्रोक्साइड फर्म गर्छ यो मेटल को चाहिँ के फर्म गर्छ हामीले हाइड्रोक्साइड सो एफ ई ओ एच FeOH3 थ्री भने चाहिँ जब हामी एमोनियम हाइड्रोक्साइड चाहिँ कुनै मेटलिक सल्ट सँग रिएक्ट गर्छौ त्यति बेला हामीले मेटल को चाहिँ के पाउँछौ हामीले हाइड्रोक्साइड फर्म गर्छौ अनि एमोनियम क्लोराइड FeOH लेखे हामीले के रह्यो NH4Cl3 ओके सो NH4 प्लस NH4Cl प्लस NH4Cl ओके Similarly, let's take another example. Ammonium hydroxide reacts with another metal. I can give you another metal. Ammonium chloride. Ammonium chloride. AlCl3. So again, metallic hydroxide will form. Metal was a key form. Hydroxide. So AlOH. Plus NH4 ammonium sulfate. Okay, so ammonium chloride is also ammonium sulfate is also ammonium ammonium chloride. So in this way you can write the equation. Okay, so what do you understand from here? So if we react ammonium hydroxide with any metallic chloride, we form metallic hydroxide. We form metallic hydroxide. and this metallic hydroxide how it appears it appears as a precipitate precipitate bhaneko mm -hmm. chai which is not soluble in water this is soluble in water ela bhancha precipitate precipitate when ammonium hydroxide react with metallic chloride it forms metallic hydroxide which is precipitate yes ke ho precipitate what kind of precipitate jelly jelly dekh sakta hai maine jelly gel hai na gel so it appears like a gel okay so you can write jelly precipitate j e l l it form as a jelly precipitate panji yo kasto form ma huncha re jelly gel jasta form ma huncha jelly huncha ni ka ta so yo pani teste jelly form ma huncha okay तर यसको कलर चाहिँ के हुन्छ यसको कलर कुरा गर्नु भने के हुन्छ यसको रेडिस ब्राउन अब यसको कलर चाहिँ के हुन्छ एल्युमिनियम जले पनि एल्युमिनियम जले पनि के हुन्छ व्हाइट हुन्छ के हुन्छ व्हाइट सो दिस आर द नम्बर 4 फिजिकल प्रपर्टी केमिकल प्रपर्टीज so we have discussed today physical and chemical properties i hope you understood okay so main thing you have to in chemical property main thing you have to understand understand and uh, you can you have to learn uh, according uh, your reactions chemical reactions okay so so what happens so in chemical property you have to learn what happens when ammonia reacts with this substance you have to know this okay so this are about physical and chemical properties okay thank you